those kind of ruins that were the doom for many of us. The move system could be, well, nicer, maybe. I personally, it feels a little bit awkward, maybe, to be moving all of this like this in a group. But probably there will be at least choices what kind of group formation there will be in the future, so... Hello, guard. Not nearly as many people here anyways, so yeah, that one guy specifically has enormous army. Uh, when you get close to the temple, the nomads seem surprised to see you and start being alert, but none of them seems inclined to attack you. Stop the strangers! Let's be diplomatic. We come in peace, we are here to meet your chief, not to fight. The guard watches you with a surprised look on his face, then turns to another nomad, but you are too far to understand what they are saying. You can go inside. Okay. Let's go inside then. I really don't stand over the chief. This man seems the chief of these soldiers and he's surrounded by a large group of guards. Well, not nearly as large as, uh, well, that other guy was. Why are you here, strangers? In prison. Commander, you know as well as I do, there's a reason why we haven't been killed yet. And you also know that the things we are going to discuss now can't be heard by everyone. The chief answers you, but he does it speaking a surprisingly good Zaharian. So then not all would understand us, I would assume. Marcel seems to be ready for one of his usual <laughs> inappropriate remarks, but Zeron stops him before he could even say a word. Dude. It's clear that you think you can reach an agreement with us. You think we'll be willing to use your presence here to bypass our laws. I could tell you that at least the other one wanted that. I'll tell you right now that we are the only that what are the only conditions I accept. You'll help us fight Kalal, preventing him from taking with him the family that now is at the Oasis. In return, you'll have enough food to leave and never come back. I need more than just the food. And now, choose, stranger. You can leave now or give me your word of honor and respect our agreement. Um. Mm, how can we accept without even knowing what this is about? It is up to you to get your decisions. And now choose, stranger. You can leave now or give me your word of honor and respect our agreement. Um. <laughs> I could just say the same thing or... I think we have no choice at this point. Well, apparently no when we cannot say no. Okay. That's kind of weird. What a wonderful day, says Irene. The honor is the only thing that gives value to a man's life. Your life depends on that. Behave with honor, and with honor you'll be treated. I need a camel and a temple with the food. Yes, good that I can ask this. The food is not enough. We want one of your packed camels and a little time to study the inscriptions in the temple. Inscriptions? You really don't have anything better to think about? Yeah, no. He thinks it's stupid to... Yeah. Well, we don't. We came all the way here, so why not? Do as you wish, but I won't guarantee for your safety. Your task is really easy. Some of my men will go to the Oasis, so you'll make sure they will survive. So, okay, so we will basically not be the ones to fight against the chief and some of his men, but would be the ones that would go with some of his men so that the chief will not be coming and fight against Galalk's men. It is very likely that our enemy Galalk will be ready to fight. You'll consider doing a blitz to assist my men in case of battle. Once solved the problem at the Oasis, you'll get what I promised you. You'll go away and you'll never come back. We belong to these dunes, unlike you Jaharians. 
So basically, he doesn't want us to come back. But well, I'm not sure which one would be the better option uh, for the long term. But uh, in here, hmm. Mm, okay, let's say cordial, I guess. We got an agreement. May the honor guide our actions. Let's say that we want them to rather stay the way they've been thus far, even if uh, it's not perfect for us, but maybe better. May the three stars protect us. My men will leave in some hours. You'll follow them from a distance so you won't be noticed. Alrighty, so let's side with the temples group then. Let's join temples group. Let's see how it'll end up. Get ready, it won't be a morning walk. Asan may protect us. Hidden in the darkness, you look at the nomads discussing around fire, waiting for the right moment to attack them. And then the fight starts. Alrighty. Mm. It's many of us. I guess these are the four, uh, four of us. And then there's... Uh, these three allies, so to speak. Uh, well, action points is at least these are all easily visible. There's different kind of attacks using different points. Uh, ah, skip the current turn. You can rest the character by skipping the turn before action points are exhausted. Okay. Or switch a weapon set. Maybe we want to be using that, but at least I think that. Well, we do seem to have a. At least a shield with him, even with the well, with both shield sets. So I guess we can just be starting to run forward with him first of all. Yeah, just go there, I guess. What weapons do you have? Just a uh, well, two sort of weapons. I want to turn you this way around. Space turn can end the turn for a certain person at least, for sure. So there's the, well, kind of like stamina points for sus and then a lot of others. Okay, this is the other girl, not me specifically. Does she have anything else? She has a bow, okay. So definitely something that she's going to be using. Move one point into here. Okay. Yeah, I was thinking that I don't want to be... Well, basically... Behind my own character, because then I probably would hit her. That wouldn't be something I would want, would it now? 40 points or 50 points. But I couldn't attack again if I would use a crippling shot, so let's just use the standard attack. Yeah, shoot that guy. We used some. I think we can use the... Yeah, uh, all action points left are used for the aimed attack, so it will use the 5 that I happen to have left. For each action points exceeded the base class 1% more probability bonus is given. That's fine. Hmm. Yeah, it's, it's more sensible to hit this guy. I would think at least. Okay then. You can probably go just here and start slashing. Two hands weapon. Maybe you could go actually here. You're behind him then, right? So try to use a mighty attack. Hit from back. Exhausted. And one is down. That's good. I would say. Move one forward then, I guess. I could have actually switched the shield set at least, that would probably protect better, but well, it's our turn next, which is nice. Maybe we could hit the... Uh, I think that one has actually a bow, but there is quite a long distance. We could try the crippling attack, we at least have a plenty of action points. We could even do two crippling attacks. It's 100% uh, probability of hitting, but uh, of course then less of a chance of a critical hit. More of a chance would be for this guy. Let's do a critical hit there, or try that anyways. Yeah, I think it was pretty effective. Mm, 
Yeah, I guess just the end shot then. It's not a perfect shot or shot probably the 87%, so we'll see. I can say that I like this bow. I can say that much. It's nice to be able to get rid of some of these uh, enemies before they all can even reach us, even remotely. Well, what do you want to do? I think you will come here. Yeah. Come here, maybe. Uh, how many turn? 20 action points. That will take 15, so not that too much. I think we can do uh, that. Use just... Stamina cost is half, minus 50 attacks and damages, but it's from the side, so I think there's a little bit more of a bonus nonetheless. So let's try it nonetheless. Yeah. Maybe we should then move to this point so that not all of these can that easily get to us. Maybe. Maybe, yes. Okay, it's your turn. Mm, I wonder, can you attack to the side? If you switch the weapon set. This would be two hand sword. Well, you don't have points for anything anyways, I don't think. Yeah. So as such, I don't know if it really matters. Maybe you could just be moving here. Make it harder for those guys to try to come behind us or anything like that. And you can do more maybe next turn then. There's an archer. But yeah, it uses like from the defense first and not from the uh, hit points. Mm, yeah, come behind this guy. Uh, let's see. Double slash. Let's do a double slash. Why not? Exhausted. That. that guy pretty much is... Well, dead, yes. Uh, I think that we can do pretty well against this guy with the bow, so... Move one point into here, I guess. Or one ten points. Uh, I guess we could really see if we can actually... Attack from here. Yes, we can from the side, so... I guess that should work. We took some of his... Uh, well... Leg cripple attack, yeah. Sounds of critical hit. Mm. I guess you could just come here and then just do the thunder attack. Once and maybe twice. I don't think there's necessarily anything or other weapon that you could use anyways anymore at least. Mm, probably would have been better to do something else, but on the other hand, we can still do the rapid attack, so I guess that will work. Unless he's exhausted, I guess. So, anyways. Ah, hit from the back twice. Very dead. Ah. Well, our first death, as such, I guess. Yeah, and you are better to shoot shorter distances, I'm sure, so shoot once like this, and then an aim shot. I think that should be fine. Mm, yeah, pretty nice. Actually, you killed him completely, so that's good. At least the bows really seem to be efficient. Mm. Ah, nomad idiom knowledge. This social skills helps you to understand the nomad idiom. Aim bow attacks. I think here I can just see all of my abilities. Okay. What was that? Uh, increase the base action points by 10. It turns faster to prevent position bonus. I would really like to just take care of that guy when he's already down there. Just for the fact that, well, I can. 82% chance... Well, I don't know. Do I do damage with the critical shot? Might be better to do a critical shot first into one of these... ...guys and then see about something else. Okay, do critical shot into that guy. Or try doing critical shot. Seemed to work quite nicely. Lost loads of hit points too. And then I guess the aim shot into that guy, see if we can take him out. And we did. 
seems to be going very well for us at least. Well, except for our nomad allies, I think. Not necessarily as good for the nomad allies. Uh, yeah, I... Ah, uh, there's this guy too. But well, this guy is very well surrounded though, so I guess we could really try to do something against it. Mm. Terrorist attack, we haven't tried that yet, so let's try it from the back. Hmm, not sure if it was efficient, really. Maybe it's just the standard attack, or... yeah. Was there something more interesting here? Launch attack, let's try that. I, nah, two standard attacks is probably better, with considering for the hit po uh, action points. This would be pretty exhausted, at least. Even if we now have to hit him from the front. Okay, I guess. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's anything necessarily better for you to decide to do. It would be a little bit silly to be turning our back against it. Nonetheless, so... Destructive attack. Let's try it. Why not? From the side. Very exhausted. Exploded almost. Okay. So... Uh, that is actually a friendly guy too. I didn't realize that it was actually friendly, but that's fine. Let's start moving this way, I guess. Bowman. I dislike Bowmans. Mm. 30 points. I think you can do something after that still. If you go there with 30. Not double slash though, but mighty attack, so... Gains plus 50% attack and damage. Well, he is uh, able to hit him from behind, so let's try it. Well, he's very exhausted for sure. I guess you could just try to come here and take him out. Possibly at least, yes. Mm, yeah, probably just standard attacks. Nice. It worked well. I was thinking that it probably should be enough. Uh, probably you could come here just to protect his side a little bit too. Would think that there would be a good opportunity for some uh, strikes of opportunity or opportunity strikes if you pass by that close to the enemy. In reality, maybe there will be in the uh, future. Hit from the back. Then just, uh, well, I guess we could do another hit from the back. Yeah, why not? He didn't even turn against us, so then there's not really any reason not to try. He's just striking us from the front. Okay. A little bit hard to... Well, I can't really move very well uh, the camera, but... Crippling shot. Um, yeah, I guess you could try that. I'm not sure if you have a longbow or if you have a... Current this bow. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I guess you can try this. If not, it's not in any way a perfect uh, possibility to hit, but we'll try. Well, you did hit. Didn't kill it, but it was at least okay. So these are all friendly. That is, of course, an enemy, but I do feel that I kind of have to move a little bit. Maybe this position would work. Yeah. So, then we have 65 left. So we cannot do two of those. We could only do either a crippling shot or an aimed attack. And I guess the aimed attack is better nonetheless at this point. Hmm. Maybe try hitting this guy. At least we have its back. We would have his back too at the moment with the, if we move into here. He could attack too, so I guess we could try that and then see about taking care of this guy with uh, him. He doesn't have any stamina, so he's pretty exhausted anyways. Standard attack. Uh, mm, or the crippling one maybe first and then one standard because we can. Yeah. Okay, try to do a standard attack now then. Well, 
didn't quite take care of him though. Sadly enough. But I trust you to be able to take possibly take care of this guy. Yes, good. That's what I was thinking that you should be able to do it. Let's have a shield. It's most likely increases our defense score anyhow, so that's most likely a good idea. Can you do a double slash from that position? Yes, you can. And well, that's almost from behind in reality. Um yeah, 20 points only, so run here, I guess. And uh yeah, run here and then standard attack. Nice. Then I guess you will just be running here and try to be going exactly. That is behind in a way. <laughs> oh well. Um, yeah, let's do. A Should I do a standard attack? Not necessarily because this way at least we will hit. Does it really matter? If we don't... If we use all the action boys? I don't think so. Nice. Nice shot. Will I be the one to take care of the last enemy? I do have to move at least a little bit. Yeah, now I should have a perfect possibility of hitting. Try to do a crippling and then the aim shot. I think that should be quite fine. Uh, 82% chance of hitting, so not necessarily going to work, but we'll try. Actually, I cannot do an aimed attack anymore. Or I should be able to do. Well, I'm not sure. Um, what text was there? Not in range or low action points. Hmm. Okay. Well, I do have 45. It should use 40. So I'm a little bit confused, but maybe it's like uh, some of the points can only be used for moving or something. There's a little bit confusing about that. We even, so to speak, can move here. Yeah. Weird. Well, maybe the nomads can take care of it then. Ah, the shield fell. Um, Church the deck. We haven't seen it yet or tried it. Well, we won the fight. So, that was the combat system at the moment. The group was able to visit the temple and Irene, thanks to her youthful enthusiasm, has been spending a few hours studying the inscriptions found in the temple and getting lost among the by now dead gods of a war golden religion. The fragmentary writing of the precursor raises more questions. Precursors, that reminds me of uh, Urquan Masters. Raises more questions than it answers, but even the smallest detail is important to get to Kahandar. Thanks to your intervention, Irene ceased to yield to Marshall's provocations, and during the return journey, you see Marshall having almost paternal attitudes towards her. Well, I guess that's a good uh, ending. The history of Kip did not end with his death, but he's, he's coming back home, saved by the joint efforts of the crew. Oh, that's good. The survivors are going back home, thus beginning their journey through the desert. Once again, the same old story. The blood of many men makes crimson the desert sand, slowly burying the mortal remains of the ones who failed. The group walks forward towards the horizon. It's time to go home. Well, that was it. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this little prototype of Zaharia. And uh, do try it out yourself or pack in the Kickstarter if you're at all interested in these sort of games. I at least like the prototype. It, As I said previously, I think the game has potential. I think the story could be very interesting. So, indeed, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you might also pack. And even if the Kickstarter fails, I seriously hope that they will not give up. But we'll try to make this game happen one way or another. I don't... Well, maybe the early release type of uh, thing. Maybe. But yes, I hope they really will not be giving up. And I hope to be able to see this game ma be made in the future. But thanks for watching. I will see you next time in something else. See ya.